Well, good day, everybody. Got an unboxing to do here. A rare gem from my past. One that I had on my... I'm calling it my lost games list. A list of games that I have forgotten the names of, but I really want to find. I've found a lot of them over the years. There's been... There's been quite a few, and I found quite a few, but there's still a couple on the list that I cannot... I, I remember the game, but every way I search it online, I find a different game, or I can't... Oh, uh, anyway. There's still a couple games left on the list, and I will definitely up update you guys when I get them. But this is one of them. This I played with my stepbrother. I'll probably mention him from time to time. We lived in uh, different homes, but he'd come over to visit and bring over... I remember him always bringing over some kind of video game or something cool. He introduced me to the Sega Saturn, and that was the first console I ever got. I loved that thing. Uh, anyway, when he used to bring it over, the Sega Saturn, I remember just being so happy just to watch him. I'd even record some of his gameplay onto a camcorder that had an input. It had two RCA inputs, one for audio, one for video. And you could switch it to VCR mode and record. And so I record when he was over, so I'd have something to watch when he was away. And I was just more than happy to watch his gameplay. And I remember Robotica. That was an awesome game. I remember that might have been on the list briefly, but I found it pretty quick. It's easy game to search. Just robot game. Or game where you're driving around in a robot fighting. Didn't take too much. Um, this game was another game that he brought over, but it was brief, and I don't remember the name, and when I asked him about it, he, he's like, you know, he couldn't remember it either. It was a rented game. I think it uh, was rented from Hollywood Video, possibly. But either way, he couldn't remember it, and I spent years, many, many years searching it, and I remember the, uh, the things I would search, like green jelly, or, um, I think what eventually helped me find it was searching the, something about the green jellies that attack you or green blobs and I remember uh, when, the, when the internet first when I was first introduced to it was um, through Hollywood Video's AOL Air America Online Disc and so when I first started on the internet it was it was vague there wasn't much to search through there was still a huge list of games but there's no pictures beside them nowadays it's really complete um, but it was some years ago uh, still not as great of websites out there that there are now um, with full descriptions of the games and pictures. I had to go through a list and try and remember what the name was. Um, but the game was Virtual Hydlide. Oh, a name I would have never figured out on my own, but I had started searching something about jellies. Um, and then the trees that would uproot up up themselves. I couldn't remember much. And I searched stuff about vampires because I remember there being a castle and bats. So it was a gem. I really, it was a, it was a lost gem that I cannot remember the name of. And I, when I finally found it, it's just this great feeling, like a, finding a lost treasure that was so dear to you that you thought you'd never see again. And now there's videos on YouTube that have every single PlayStation game with a clip with a little bit of gameplay. They're hours long. I have two of those videos saved in my playlists um, to watch later. So I can go through and find those last couple of games that I can't remember the names of. But yes, Virtual Hydlide. Oh, and there's the... Uh... Yes, I still have a few Sega Saturn games, but I unfortunately lost the cases when I decided to store everything into a book. And stored the cases, and then family threw my stuff away. And ugh, long, long story. But yeah, I didn't take good care of my stuff. Now I'm, I'm calling myself a collector. I'm going to take really good care of it, and gonna enjoy it. So a little thank you for the purchase from eBay, from the seller. You can see that. Some peanuts. Well, good job with the packaging. No damage on this side. No damage on this side. Oh. Such nostalgia looking at these big giant boxes, these clear cases. I remember uh, going. I remember going up to a Le Center store, um, video rental place, with my brother to look for games. I think that's where we might have rented this from. It was a, a old Le Center store with VHS tapes. Long time ago. Virtual hide light. I remember my brother playing and being freaked out by it because these trees would uproot themselves and attack you and. 
There's cutscenes and a little story, and it's just a real gem. Oh, the treasure chests! I forgot. I, they had a lot of this funny stuff with the monsters, like chests that weren't. Some of the chests, I think, you would either open and get stuff, or you'd open them and they're monsters. The chest was a monster chest. But there it is, looking pretty fabulous. I'm really happy to see that that survived. Um, let's get some scissors. Gem from the past. I've not. I remember getting this game, but I didn't know the difference between a. The American, I just saw a cheap deal on eBay for it, and I thought it was the game, but it was the Japanese version, and they never actually took it out of the case. And that also got lost and, or thrown away. Cringe saying, but yeah, family. Bunch of assholes. Right there it is, a little scuffing, of course. I have this weird thing with smelling my merchandise. You'd sometimes tell if it came right from a movie store, just because of the way it smells. Oh, the disc kind of bounced off its thing there. Let's check it. I think it's okay. Don't see any rub marks, maybe just a, some little scratches. But uh, nothing I haven't seen before. Nothing that would keep it from working. I don't think we'll definitely try it. There seems to be one big scratch right there. I doubt that's from uh, anything in here. That has not very much room to move around. So all the damage that could have been caused would have been right in this area. So now that would have been old damage. Not happy about that though. They should put a piece of tape over this disc so it doesn't pop out if it's that loose, but it's not too bad. Virtual hide line. Copyright 1994. So that might be the game or the company. I don't know how that all works, but it's probably somewhere around that time. Produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises LTD. Looks like we got a good game. Let's hope that scratch doesn't affect anything. Give it a quick test in the machine. There it is, the case. A gem. All right, time to hook up the old Sega Saturn. First, uh, or, or the only, only the second console I've hooked up yet to this, to my command center here. Pretty exciting. I just love the feel of this thing. It's so nostalgic. It was my first console. Got Daytona USA in there. I'll have to find that case for that. Controller. Brand new cord here. Got off a little while ago, actually. But first time. Testing it out, uh, RCA for the Sega Saturn. So you do some game capture. I gotta look around for an official RCA for this. I hate these cheap knockoffs.
quick look at this manual. I don't know if I remember looking through this thing. I do kind of remember looking through this thing. Pretty decent condition. Start it up, make sure it works. Oh, even that console has a nostalgic sound to it. And this menu, oh yes! This menu. Alright, recording on the OBS studio here. So this is uh, something you see every time you're... Uh, it's got a little battery in it, and every time you lose... Um, Every time it loses power, or every time you unplug the game, you need to select your language. Everything about this game is so nostalgic. That sound, that uh, real twangy kind of menu sound. I love it. <laughs> and the woos! 1984! That is weird. That is so weird to see that number on this console. This just brings me way back. 19. Um, yeah. Let's just do that. Oh my gosh, it's great. It's glorious. I used to draw that symbol in school when I should have been doing school. Had that Saturn S with the blue planet in the middle of it. Virtual Highlight. Yes, after all these years, finally I will play you again. After all these years, yes, it took a long time to find this. Find this game. Quick, uh... Always do normal. Incomplete map. Show destination. Ow, I'm in here. I always, I always like figuring that out uh, on my own. Just hitting keys until it works. Alright, let's give it a quick... Uh, Huh, with a code. So maybe you can write down what world you spawn in, and then you can... Okay, so yeah, they do give you a code. That way you can get back to your original map, I suppose. That's cool. And I can't remember writing that down, too. I think we, uh... Oh, yes, the beginning. 
forgot how bad it is on the, uh, I don't even know if you'd call that frame rate. Oh my gosh, you guys, the nostalgia is great. We got block, swing. Yes, I remember these slow controls. Character looks good though. Oh, it actually looks like maybe a picture of a guy. Yeah, the fog. And then. How do I put the bat away? Way to run. Oh, okay, side to side. Big swing, block. No, these are just both uh, swings. Got the menu here. Oh, yeah, all the little details in the menu, like the fancy border around the menu and stuff. Everything is. I love when I come back to a game like this after some years and get that nostalgic feel. Out. I like the controller too. I love these. I love these controllers, the old Sega, Sega controllers. Lots of buttons. So yeah, this game. Oh man, I remember this. It just plops you right down and leaves you up to you, yourself to wander around and figure out what's going on. Oh, there's the map. Ah, an actual pause. Instead of a menu pause. We got our menu with the uh, Z. The Z button here. I s could have sworn there was a way to run. Oh, is that a jelly over there? Many jellies. This game still gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know why. It's just it's creeping things out in the... This creepy fog just creeping up on me. I'm gonna take one out. It's time to attack a jelly. Oh no, that's not a jelly, that's a gnome. Oh, goblin dude. Oops, wrong button. This is not two fighter. Okay, man, they're get, get, getting hits put on me. Health is getting low. Got him. Okay, put the bat away. Ah, okay, so you hold the button that puts the weapon away is run. Yes. I just heard a freaking jelly. Oh my god, it's coming. Oh, it's a fucking tree! I remember you, tree. Oh my gosh, he's got a big old mouth too on him. Oh, that thing freaks me out. I, I was legit spooked right there, man. <laughs> Great. Uh, where are you going, tree? You trying to do some strafing? I can do some strafing. Come on, tree. What are you doing? I don't remember the trees being this tactical. I see a jelly. All right, I'm going for it. Taking out this tree. Oh my gosh, those teeth! I remember. I was a little kid that just freaked me out so bad. Seeing those big old teeth on a tree. Oh, a tree ant! That's right, they had a name for it. Tree ant. Can't seem to hit me. I'm too fast. 
getting closer. Oh, he's getting way close. Okay, maybe that's why he can't hit me. I've got some reach on this weapon. Got him. Yeah, let's go check out the jelly. Yeah, the jellies. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with these things. I do remember when we first saw one of these, we didn't know whether or not to treat that as an enemy because it doesn't look very threatening at first, but then it gets close. It's gonna get me. Spike me. Oh, yeah, right there. Jelly spikes. Oops, that's blocked. Then when I was a, my brother would let me play, I remember I'd just come up and I'd run in the jelly. Running in some jelly. Running in some jelly. Ooh. Yep. I had to do that. Da -na -na -na. Okay, so there it is. Looks like it's working pretty good. Stay tuned for the gameplay. I have not finished Aiden Chronicles yet, so I'm gonna go um, make sure I uh, I finish that game first, or else I'm gonna get distracted and I wanna remember the storylines. Continue. Yes, I remember this too. This is cool. The castle, you end up finding that castle, and there's a bunch of bats in there and other monsters. Okay, time to box this up safe, put it in my collection. Save it for a gameplay. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.